Often, we need to carry out division using mixed numbers. There are a number of divisions possible involving mixed numbers. For example, we could have a mixed number divided by a whole number, a whole number divided by a mixed number, a mixed number divided by a fraction, a fraction divided by a mixed number, or one mixed number divided by another mixed number. When working with mixed numbers, there are two rules we always need to remember. The first rule is, any time a division question involves a mixed number, we always start by converting it to an improper fraction. The other rule is that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. Using these two rules, we can do any divisions involving mixed numbers. Let's start with an example of a mixed number divided by a whole number. Here we have the mixed number 1 and 3 quarters divided by the whole number 9. We start by converting the mixed number 1 and 3 quarters to an improper fraction. The denominator is 4, and the numerator is 1 times 4 plus 3, which is equal to 7. So our improper fraction is 7 over 4. And the question now is 7 quarters divided by 9. 9 is the same as 9 over 1. So the question now becomes 7 over 4 divided by 9 over 1. Remember that dividing by 9 over 1 is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal of 9 over 1, which is 1 over 9. So we have changed 7 over 4 divided by 9 over 1 to 7 over 4 times 1 over 9. So the question now becomes 7 over 4 times 1 over 9. We can't do any simplifying of the diagonals, so this expression cannot be simplified. The numerator is 7 times 1, which is 7. And the denominator is 4 times 9, which is 36. So our final answer is 7 36. And we can summarize by stating that 1 and 3 quarters divided by 9 is equal to 7 36. 7 36 is a proper fraction, so we leave it as it is. Our next example will be a whole number divided by a mixed number. We'll illustrate this with a little problem. A builder needs to cut a number of pieces of lumber which are 25 and a half inches long. He needs to cut up 8 foot long boards to make these. 8 feet is equal to 96 inches. The question is, how many 25 and a half inch pieces can he get from each 96 inch board? In order to answer this question, we need to know how many times 25 and a half will fit into 96. To find out, we need to divide 96 by 25 and a half. 96 is the same as 96 over 1. And the mixed number, 25 and a half, needs to be converted to an improper fraction. The denominator is 2, and the numerator is 25 times 2 plus 1, which is 51. So the improper fraction is 51 over 2. So our question is 96 over 1 divided by 51 over 2. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. So we multiply by the reciprocal of 51 over 2, which is 2 over 51. Now we have the question 96 over 1 times 2 over 51. Notice the diagonals 96 and 51 can both be divided by 3. Dividing 96 by 3 gives us 32. And dividing 51 by 3 gives us 17. So we're left with 32 over 1 times 2 over 17. Multiplying the numerators, 32 times 2 gives us 64. And multiplying the denominators, 1 times 17 gives us 17. So we're left with the fraction 64 over 17. This is an improper fraction, so we need to convert it to a mixed number. 17 goes into 64 3 times. 17 times 3 equals 51. So the remainder is 64 minus 51, which is 13 seventeenths. And our final answer is 3 and 13 seventeenths. 
So 96 divided by 25 and a half is equal to 3 and 13 seventeenths. And now we can answer the question, how many 25 and a half inch pieces can he get from a 96 inch board? The answer is he can get three full pieces. Now we'll go over an example of a mixed number divided by a fraction. Our example is the mixed number 5 and 4 ninths divided by the fraction 7 fifteenths. We'll start by converting the mixed number 5 and 4 ninths to an improper fraction. The denominator will be 9. The numerator will be 5 times 9 which is 45 plus 4, which is equal to 49. So our problem is 49 over 9 divided by 7 over 15. Dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is 15 over 7. So the question now is 49 over 9 times 15 over 7. Notice the diagonal numbers 49 and 7 can both be divided by 7. 49 divided by 7 is 7, and 7 divided by 7 equals 1. Also notice that the other diagonals, 9 and 15, can both be divided by 3. 9 divided by 3 gives us 3, and 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. So we're left with this expression. We'll tidy it up a bit. So we're left with this expression, 7 over 3 times 5 over 1. Multiplying the numerators 7 times 5, gives us 35. And multiplying the denominators 3 times 1 gives us 3. So we're left with the improper fraction 35 over 3, which we need to convert to a mixed number. 3 goes into 35 11 times. 3 times 11 is 33. So the remainder is 35 minus 33, which comes out to 2 thirds. So the final answer for 5 and 4 ninths divided by 7 fifteenths is 11 and 2 thirds. Let's do a fraction divided by a mixed number. This is a good one for you to try. 2 thirds divided by 7 and 3 fifths. Pause the video, come up with an answer, then resume the video and check your answer. We'll start by converting the mixed number 7 and 3 fifths to an improper fraction, which comes out to 38 over 5. So the question now is 2 thirds divided by 38 over 5. To divide by the fraction 38 over 5, we multiply by its reciprocal, which is 5 over 38. So the question now is 2 thirds times 5 over 38. Notice the diagonals 2 and 38 can both be divided by 2. Dividing both of these by 2 gives us 1 and 19. So we're left with this expression. We'll tidy it up a bit. Multiplying the numerators, 1 times 5 gives us 5. And multiplying the denominators, 3 times 19 gives us 57. So the answer to 2 thirds divided by 7 and 3 fifths is 5 57ths. This is a proper fraction, so we cannot change it to a mixed number. Also, it can't be reduced to simpler terms. The last example we'll do is a mixed number divided by another mixed number. Here is 3 and 3 fifths divided by 1 and a quarter. Pause the video and try this on your own first. Then resume the video and check your answer. We'll start by converting 3 and 3 fifths to an improper fraction. It comes out to 18 over 5. Then we'll convert 1 and 1 quarter to an improper fraction. It comes out to 5 over 4. So our question is 18 divided by 5 divided by 5 over 4. Dividing by the fraction 5 over 4 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is 4 over 5. So our question now becomes 18 over 5 times 4 over 5. Neither of the diagonals will simplify to lower terms, so we just multiply these two fractions together. Multiplying the numerators, 18 times 4 gives us 72. And multiplying the denominators, 5 times 5 gives us 25. So we're left with the fraction 72 over 25. This is an improper fraction, so we need to change it to a mixed number. 
25 goes into 72 two times. 25 times 2 is equal to 50, and 72 minus 50 is 22. So our remainder is 22 over 25. So our final answer to the question 3 and 3 fifths divided by 1 and a quarter is 2 and 22 20 fifths. So now we've looked at all the possible kinds of divisions using mixed numbers. Make sure to get lots of practice on these. These skills come in very handy.